What is going on, fan clan? Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday. Don't we all love Fridays? Fridays are so, so wonderful. Last week, Friday, we opened up a brand new booster box of Astral Radiance. Thanks again to the Pokemon Company International for sending us that box to open up and share with you guys. And we are giving away all of the pulls from that box, not just the hits. I'm talking about everything, all the codes, comments, uncommons, everything. We're giving it all away. And the lucky winner for that is Jason VT Sports Guy. Congratulations, Jason VT Sports Guy. You are the winner of that wonderful box featuring that alternate art Palkia. Such a great box. We had 15 hits. It was a busted, busted box. Please shoot me your information. You can find me on Twitter at Danny underscore underscore O. You can message me on Instagram at Danny.Phantom or just send me an email. I just need your contact information. I will get that shipped out. We are also giving away a booster box of Evolving Skies. We're doing that every single week until a reprint finally comes. I'm going to get to that in just a second. But first of all, I want to say congratulations to Alex Heyman. You are this week's winner. You are the winner of a brand new booster box of Evolving Skies. Same thing. Message me your information. I'll get that out to you. There's been a lot of questions that I've got regarding this booster box because a lot of people are wondering if this is over now, if it's ended, because Pokemon Center just put these up online. You can buy these for MSRP. You can go to PokemonCenter.com. I don't know if they're still up or not, but you can buy a booster box of Evolving Skies for MSRP. Unfortunately for me... Uh, that's not really a reprint. I'm very, very specific when it comes to reprints. I will very specifically state what a reprint is. If it's a reprint involving booster packs that you might see in collection boxes. When I'm talking a reprint, I'm focusing solely on uh, booster boxes available to LGSs. So an LGS would order from a distributor. A distributor would say, hey, just so you know, LGS, um, we're getting news that a reprint of Evolving Skies is coming. Uh, we can allocate you this much or put in an order and let me know how much you want. That has hasn't happened yet. There is no official reprint of Evolving Skies. This is more just stock that Pokemon Center has. Maybe they're just trying to keep the prices down. Whatever the case may be, there is not a reprint yet for us. So we are going to keep the ball rolling and we're going to keep giving more Evolving Skies booster boxes away. So if you want to win one of these, all you have to do is just make sure you're subscribed to the channel and then hit that like button down below and leave a comment and then watch next week Friday's video and see if you win. All right. With that being said, we're going to continue our trip down Astral Radiance pull rates, and we're going to be opening up a booster box of Astral Radiance and comparing the pull rates to 12 three-pack blisters of Astral Radiance. That's right, we're going to take 36 packs out of this bad boy and compare them to 36 packs out of a booster box. So far, this is our third booster box of Astral Radiance that we have opened. So far, it has been absolutely nuts as far as pull rates go because we have had 15 hits in every single, uh, or in both boxes that we've opened so far. And trainer gallery cards are popping up like crazy. We haven't pulled the secret rare yet. No rainbow rares or gold cards, but we did pull two alternate arts so far. So go back if you haven't already watched the video from last week where we opened up a booster box from Pokemon directly or uh, watch the video from yesterday where we compared a booster box to 36 sleeved booster packs. We pulled a nice alternate art in there as well. Um, but we haven't pulled a secret area yet. So we're going to go through things pretty quick. We've got a cleaver hollow at the beginning there. We want to go through things pretty quick because we are opening up 72 packs. And I know your time is precious. And there's a lot of other openings that have been out there already. So uh, looking at the card art, you've probably already seen a lot of these cards. We've got a double banger. Let's go. Galarian Obstagoon and Garchomp V. I like separating these. Um, a little bit just to kind of see what consistency looks like. We are going to do a full pull rate video once we get through all of our booster boxes of Astral Radiance. We'll probably get through, you know, somewhere around 40 to 50 booster boxes. Look at pull rates and see what it looks like compared to what we saw in Brilliant Stars as we got nothing in that booster pack there. We're only focusing on the Ultra Rares right now uh, as well as the Trainer Gallery cards and the Radiant Collection cards. Those Radiant cards which also appear in the reverse hollow spot which is pretty cool but right now we are sitting at one trainer gallery card and one ultra rare just a garchomp v so far uh, but that's okay we started out a little bit cold in our opening from pokemon and then things heated up real quick uh, but we've been getting consistently 15 hits 15 16 hits seems to be the norm as we've got a nice starmie v full art not too far in for our first full art pretty cool right there we're gonna put that right next to the garchomp v over there 
Uh, but we'll see how things go. Usually it seems like what we've, what we've experienced so far is eight ultra rares and then somewhere around five to six trainer gallery cards, which is up quite a bit from what we saw from Brilliant Stars where you would get anywhere between three and five. It averaged out to about four per booster box. Uh, but we've been getting five or six of the trainer gallery cards uh, in Astral Radiance as we get a Tojikis. So it'll be interesting to see as we crack into more booster boxes how these pulls unfold and how they compare. It seems like these are very heavy hitting boxes, which I think a lot of people are going to be super excited about. Makes it feel a lot more like what we saw from Shining Fates, from, oh, we've got a bay, let's go! <laughs> that is a beautiful trainer gallery card, very exciting. Uh, Shining Fate celebrations where it seems like you got to hit every other pack or every three packs or something like that That's what it feels like so far in Astral Radiance, which I think is going to make a lot of people excited uh, With there being more chase cards in the set. There's a reverse hello dark patch, which is super exciting Dark patch being reprinted very very cool very good for the competitive game We'll see if it makes any impact uh, in the format whatsoever. We've got an Ottoman and a Hisuian Decidueye V. Let's go all right, so we've got uh, five hits already. Five hits, two of them trainer gallery cards, two of them uh, regular arts, and then one full art. We'll see if we can crack into our first secret rare. I haven't pulled a rainbow rare or a gold card as of yet in any of the boxes that we've opened. Hey, Radiant Greninja, that's the one that you want if you're going to get a Radiant card, Radiant Greninja. Seems like it's going to be very, very good in competitive play, obviously very early on in testing stages, things like that. We'll see what happens this weekend in Secaucus with the regional event. Obviously, Astral Radiance, not legal for that, but it will be in Milwaukee, which comes up in the middle of June. Um, but we'll see what, what happens in competitive play. Lots of things going on right now. There has been just a lot all over the place of competitive play. Oh, we got another Shadow Rider. We pulled that bad boy yesterday. That's really cool. Uh, I don't mind these black and gold cards. I think they do look pretty cool. I know that the, the price point for them, fairly inexpensive from what we saw as far as the trainer gallery cards go. Uh, but that's okay. They're very, very cool looking, very unique. Adds a little flavor and spice to the set, which I think is pretty cool. So we're at three trainer gallery cards so far. Technically, we're at like seven hits on the first side, which actually is uh, about about on par with what we're expecting, seven to eight hits per side. Uh, and that'll make people very excited, I think. Uh, the last box, we only got one Radiant Collection card. Uh, the first box we opened, we got two. So I'm assuming you'll get somewhere between one and two per booster box, and then you'll probably get five to six of those Trainer Gallery cards, maybe seven to eight Ultra Rares with a low-end booster box giving you a total of 14 hits, the higher end ones giving you 16, maybe 17 hits, which is absolutely insane because then you're looking at almost one out of every two packs as we get a Weird Ear Veer, Weird Ear V. I haven't pulled a Weird, I can't even say it, Weird Ear uh, V, I can't even say it. Oh my goodness, so, try saying that five times fast. Uh, let me know in the comments section down below what has uh, what what you've been pulling so far, what you've been seeing, what you've gotten, what you're chasing. Uh, it's always very exciting to see what everybody else is kind of going after. Um, so far, so good. We've pulled a few different alternate arts in what we've opened. But haven't opened up too much. Still chasing that alternate art Machamp. So I wouldn't mind seeing that uh, pop up in this booster box. But as of right now, uh, we're running a little bit cold, maybe a little bit behind compared to what we're used to so far in Astral Radiance. We've got eight hits if we're including the Trainer Gallery cards and the Radiant Collection card, but it'll be interesting to see what the low end box looks like as well. So, hey, our first Hoot Hoot. I love the look of that card. I know the artwork seems somewhat simplistic, but just seeing them perched out on the ledge like that, I think it looks really, really unique. I really like the look of it, so I'm very excited about that. I have been looking for that card. I did expect it to not be too difficult to pull because it is earlier on in the TG numerical order. Seems like those TG1 through TG15 cards will be a little bit easier to pull than the later ones, like what we saw in Brilliant Stars, but we'll know more as we crack into more packs as we get a Hisuian Typhlosion V-Star. There we go, not bad. We'll see what we can do here if we can pull maybe a couple more yet. We've only got five actual Ultra Rares, so if we were pacing correctly with what we've opened so far, we should get uh, two or three more yet. We're a little bit behind because we've only pulled four trainer gallery cards so it wouldn't surprise me if we had a double banger come up pretty soon here um but again it's all it's all consistency we'll see if it is consistent or not and that pokemon swears by the fact that there is no consistency in booster boxes so you're not guaranteed anything um 
But yeah, we'll see what happens with these last few packs here as we get an Adamant Hollow. Running a little bit low now on packs. We've probably got seven or eight left. Uh, so, so far, we, we would need about five more hits yet in order to catch catch up as we got a Radiant Howlucha. So we're going to add that to the pile there. Uh, otherwise, we'll see. Maybe the three-pack blisters will be better. I've heard a lot of people say that three-pack blisters are always the way to go. Uh, price points should make a difference. I know price points do matter to a lot of people. Oh, Garchomp V, another full art. All right, so two full arts in one box. The Starmie V and the Garchomp V. That's a little bit above average uh, in most cases. Usually you're only going to get one full art per box. Maybe a full art and an alternate art, but not too often are you going to get two full arts. Uh, so if we can get a secret rare now, that would be really, really cool uh, with two full arts already. Here's our double banger. We've got a Cleaver and a Starmie V. So just like that, catching right back up to the hit rates. Um, doesn't take much when you pull two in one pack. That's always a lot of fun to do. So let's see what we're at now. Uh, we've got three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So if we get one more hit, just one more, we're right on par with the other boxes that we've opened. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if it was a trainer gallery card, bringing that total up to five. We've already pulled uh, seven of the uh, just ultra rares. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get... You never know out of these last three packs. Maybe we'll get a secret rare. Maybe we'll get another double banger. We'll see what happens here uh, over the last couple packs. But uh, the good thing about Astral Radiance booster boxes right now, not selling for too much. You can buy them for 110 115 somewhere around there, uh, which isn't too bad. Well, you compare it to, you know, 36 loose boosters or 36... Uh, sleeve booster packs, 36. Uh, if you buy 12 three-pack blisters, which was which is what we're going to compare in just a second here, uh, we're gonna we're gonna end this a little bit light. So we've got 14 total hits, um, which is less than what we've had. So we're gonna compare that to the lovely three-pack blisters that everybody rants and raves about as just this amazing, amazing thing that you should get better hits on this. We tried this with Astral Radiance to see if it, or with Brilliant Stars to see if it was better or not. So we're going to pull, uh, we've got Sylveon, Sylveon as the promo on this one. So we're going to pull six of those and we'll set those to the side. Uh, and then we're going to pull... Uh, what's the other one that we get? It's Eevee. All right, so we're going to pull six Eevee and six Sylveon, and that's going to give us a total of 12 three-pack blisters or 36 packs. So we'll see how they compare to each other. Let's see if I can stack them without making them fall. These are always very fun to open in close quarters. There's that cool-looking Eevee promo so you can see it. Um, usually I end up dropping things, and then so if you hear like a loud bang, it wasn't a table flip. Uh, it was just the, the cards all falling to the ground. Uh, so we're going to try and keep things separate here. So this right-hand side here uh, is all of the hits from the booster box, and then we'll kind of get a feel for what's better. I have a feeling that three-pack blisters might win because we were a little bit light on our booster box, but we'll see how things end up. We just got a Registeel and a Regirock in that first pack there. So we'll try pack number two and see if we can pull anything out of this pack. Uh, we got a Flapple. All right, so a Trainer Gallery card Flapple to start things out. So uh, hopefully we can get something out of every single three-pack blister. You would like to think that when you're spending $14, $15 on a Pokemon product, that one out of every three packs is going to give you a hit. Uh, not necessarily a guarantee, but wouldn't it be bad? Wouldn't it be bad if we if that was the case? That's all we got in that first three-pack blister. So we're going to move on to Eevee number two. And we'll see if we can get something out of this one. Maybe something a little bit more exciting than just a trainer gallery card. But we'll see. Uh, so far, our best hit, uh, maybe the Hisuian Typhlosion V-Star. Uh, we got the Garchomp. We got the Starmie. We got a couple of cool trainer gallery cards. Obviously, the Radiant Greninja. Our first hit, Darkrai V. Our first actual ultra rare from the three-pack blisters. So we'll add that to the stack here. So we're up to two. Still got a ways to go. And we'll see if we can get past that 14, 15 number uh, when it comes to actual hits. And that'll tell us, does it make more sense to buy ancillary products? Hey, Mighty Yenna, let's go. Or does it make more sense to buy booster boxes? Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Like I said, one of the good things about Astral Radiance booster boxes right now is the price point is a little bit cheaper. Whereas if you go to Target or Walmart and you just buy 36 loose boosters, or let's say 12 of these three pack blisters, you are going to be paying more than uh, what you would for 36 packs uh, of you know an Astral Radiance booster box just because of the booster ba box pricing right now being well below that MSRP mark. Uh, whether that's going to remain the case for a while or not, I don't know. 
Uh, we'll see how the set does and what people uh, what people think if people are excited about it. Some people might be saving their money. Oh, the Zacian V. I love that card. That is such a nice looking card. We pulled that in our our special you know um, giveaway box from uh, Pokemon. That Pokemon sent us our early look, our sneak peek box. Very very cool. I love that Zacian artwork. Super hype. Uh, and we've got a full ink, so we're doing really well on the Trainer Gallery cards out of the three-pack blisters. But a little light so far on the actual Ultras. I shouldn't say that because this is only our third one, so we're only this is our ninth pack so far. We've already had five hits, but four of them are Trainer Gallery cards. Only, only one actual Ultra Rare so far. So we'll see if we get something else, maybe a little higher rarity. Again, still haven't pulled... I haven't pulled a secret rare at all in our, our test that we did yesterday involving uh, sleeve boosters. If you haven't watched that, go back and watch that. Uh, we, we didn't pull a secret rare in there either. We did pull some really cool cards, uh, including three alternate or two alternate arts, um, but no um, no secret rare at all. It's an Absol Hollow. Let's see if we can get something here. Some of these packs are a little bit weird as far as the feel goes. It seems like maybe some of this plastic got burned uh, or overcooked maybe they overcooked the booster pack when they sealed it i don't know whatever the case may be they're a little bit thick on the seam there which is a little bit weird uh but we are uh, striking out on this three pack blister so we'll see if it, maybe it is possible to get a to get a, a strikeout on a three pack blister oh we're gonna get something oh a star me v so just a regular art there and we'll see if we can pull something in our next one we're still Still on the EV right now, so still not even halfway there yet. Uh, and we've pulled six hits so far. So uh, we still got eight more to go to try and catch up to that booster box. But uh, not nothing that's overly exciting. That Zacian V, very exciting. And the Trainer Gallery cards are really cool to look at, but just regular art so far. Nothing that really stands out, but who knows what is going to come. That's what, you know, that's what, what's fun about opening up Pokemon cards is you never know <laughs> what you're going to get, right? You could open one up and then all of a sudden, boom, there's that Rainbow Rare Pikachu. I was watching um, something on, somebody shared a, a Facebook la or a Facebook reaction from a, a kid who opened up a Rainbow Rare Pikachu and lost his mind. He was so excited and it, it's just very, very fun to watch, watch things like that where a kid just obviously pulls his chase card. It's Got to be a good feeling. So I think, ooh, Radiant Greninja. All right, so that's our first Radiant card. So we've gotten something in every single uh, three-pack blister so far. But again, nothing to really uh, get super excited about. So this is our last Eevee pack um, to see if we pull something out of here. So it was interesting to look at these ancillary products in larger sample sizes. This still isn't like the ideal sample size. You would want something a little bit bigger than this. Uh, I think to you, you would probably want you know closer to a thousand packs to really try and understand, but it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to open up that much of this ancillary product when you're you'd have to open up a ton. So we're kind of looking in smaller sample sizes here, but it's always it's still fun to look at and still interesting to look at to get a a feel and an idea of what what you might see. We've got a Magnezone Hollow. Overall, though, it seems like the three pack blisters are running a little bit cold, and the good thing is we're taking this all from the same case. Uh, which is important for randomization purposes. It, we got skunked in that one, so we didn't get anything. Uh, not a Trainer Gallery card or a Radiant card. So as of right now, it seems like the booster box is the way to go, but a lot could change. We could go, you know, it could the, the Sylveon ones could be absolutely nuts. So we'll see what happens as we move on to the second half of this opening, and hopefully we can pull uh, something good. But we're a little bit cold right now, and our booster box had 14 hits, which is still a lot, but less than what... Uh, we've been pulling in the first two boxes that we opened. So we'll see what we get in these last uh, 18 packs or so, 17 packs left. If we can pull something, Teddy Ursa and Hisuian Arcanine. Uh, nothing there. We are over our last five. And can we pull something in this one to change it? No, we can't. So back to back um, three pack blisters where we struck out. Um, so just four, six, seven hits so far. Uh, which means we're pacing below the 14-hit booster box, which is very interesting. Um, could be could be the worst product we've opened so far, but it's still, like I said early on, we still have um, 15 packs to go. A lot can change in 15 packs as we get a, another Trainer Gallery card. This time it's a Frost Moth hanging out there with Melody, uh, or Melanie. 
Let's see what we get in pack number two. Just two regular Art V so far. A little bit disappointing. So we get the Hisuian Overquill. Um, and we'll see what we get in pack number three. If we can pull anything here. No, just a Rapidash. So we're running really, really slow on the Ultras. Doing okay on the Trainer Gallery cards. I would say that's keeping pace. We pulled five Trainer Gallery cards in our booster box. So we're probably ahead of schedule in trainer gallery cards because we've already pulled five of those but when it comes to actual ultra rares uh running a little bit cold so we'll see if we can pull something here like a beedrill v full art nice okay so that's super cool very good looking card not the alternate art uh which is absolutely gorgeous but still a really cool looking full art so add that to the pile there so at least that's another ultra rare that we were able to pull we'll see if we can get something in pack number two uh, it's always fun to open up a three-pack blister that has, like, three hits in it. Those, they don't happen often, uh, but when they do happen, it's it's special. Holy cow, this pack is, pack is, like, melted on it. We got another hit here. We got a uh, Starmie V again. Okay, so that's Ultra Rare Starmie V number two, overall number four for Ultra Rare. So we could turn things around pretty quickly here with one really good three-pack blister. We'll see if we can get... All three. We got uh, Skunk twice, but we got... Yeah, we got one in... Oh, no! <laughs> Origin 4 Palkia! That was a busted three-pack blister! Are you kidding me? We had a full art Beedrill, a regular art Starmie, and look at the Palkia V, the Origin uh, Origin form Palkia V. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. Whew. All right, so that definitely turned things around a lot, really fast. So just like that, from pacing behind, uh, we went we went up like crazy. That just kind of goes to show you that there's no rhyme or reason behind these three-pack blisters. There's, We had two where we pulled nothing, and then we had one now where we pulled something in all three packs, which is absolutely crazy. We'll see if we can get something here and keep it going. We got a Weird Ear Hollow. Uh, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 hits so far. So we're probably pretty close to pacing now, the same as what we got of our booster box, as we get a Hisuian Lilligan V-Star. Uh, so that's our first V-Star. So I would say right now we're probably doing a little bit better in the three-pack blisters. As a, You can't really see that because of the glare. Let me move it over a little bit. Um, but it looks like, we'll see what happens over the final two three-pack blisters, but maybe... Uh, might be moving into a little bit better shape right now with the three-pack blisters. But does it offset the cost differential? That much I don't know. Um, again, we, we hit 14 hits in the booster box if you include the Radiant cards and the Trainer Gallery cards. Only seven Ultra Rares. I say only, like seven isn't much. Seven is still pretty good. Um, and we've only gotten one, two, three, four, five Ultra Rares in or no one two three four five six ultra rare so far in our three pack blisters so we'll see it looks pretty close uh we haven't pulled a trainer gallery card now for a while uh as we get a hollow mill tank so we might strike out on this three pack blister and then it'll all come down to the final uh final three pack blister let's see if we can get something here it looks like we will a hisuian decidui v all right, so we are, what, we're at 12. So if we get two more hits, six, and we're at 13. If we get one more hit, it'll be a, a nice tie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, so if we get one more hit, it will be completely even. And then it all boils down to just the cost differential there, which I think the booster box is gonna be the better value. Uh, we did get a, a better quality hits, I guess, you could say, in the three pack blister because we did get that alternate art as opposed to the booster box. We did not get an alternate, we did get two full arts, uh, but a little bit better. Um, oh, look at that Galarian Zapdos V. Let's go. That is a beautiful card, beautiful trainer gallery card. All right, so we are even right now. Um, it just takes one double banger though, and the three pack blister will blow it out of the water. Uh, so we're even as far as hits go. I would say the quality a little bit better in the three-pack blister, but again, really def depends on the cost differential. Uh, you'll have to let me know in the comment section down below what you think, which one did better, which one you prefer, where you like putting uh, your collection dollars in as we finish off with a Shaman. Uh, so 14 hits, 14 hits, but we did get the alternate art Palkia in this one, which is super hype. Um, very, very exciting. Also the Galarian Zapdos V, very exciting. But overall... 
um, very even, right? Uh, so let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Uh, if you um, if you like this kind of stuff, please hit that subscribe button down below. I don't know what I'm saying sometimes. I just try and wrap things up and I, I just don't think so. Uh, if you appreciate this kind of content, hit that subscribe button down below. You have to do that anyways to uh, make sure you're entered for the Evolving Skies booster box. Come back next Friday. We'll announce the winner for that and keep going until a reprint actually comes for LGSs. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment. It goes a long way for the algorithm. Thank you so much for taking the time. Come back on Sunday. We're going to do the same thing. Uh, but with check lane bl blisters. Until then, guys, thanks so much. Peace!